Hello Caitlin, it is Monday, July 7th. Um, I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July holiday, though when we drove by Joanne's I saw that it was open, so perhaps you were working and that's not very fun at all. We went to the Shakespeare Festival and saw 12th Night and Measure for Measure, and it was really cool and we did the backstage tour too, which I've never done before, and it was like really interesting, we learned a lot of things. But yeah, we had a good 4th, even though we were in a play when fireworks were going off, so we didn't see any fireworks, but we did get to move down to the uh, side orchestra seats instead of the balcony because there was like nobody at the play. Uh, so we got $50 tickets for like 25 So, in response to your fainting video, which I also feel very badly about, um, I thought I'd tell you my fainting stories. I've fainted twice in my life, um, both in kind of unusual circumstances. The first time I was actually visiting a girl in the hospital that I visit taught. And so, you know, I'm there doing a good deed trying to see how she's doing and I start feeling lightheaded and I, I'd, I'd never fainted before at this point so I don't really know what's going on and the next thing I know I'm like on the ground and like a nurse is taking my pulse and like it, it was worse because it happened at a hospital. Apparently though when I went down I hit the my head on like the corner of her bed so they took me to the emergency room because <laughs> um, I was at the hospital already um, which uh, ended up being really super expensive with my stupid BYU insurance, but, um, yeah, and then, yeah, I, I've visited the hospital since then, I actually almost fainted again, but that time I could, like, recognize how I was feeling and sat down before I fainted, which was good, uh, but yeah, my visiting teacher felt so bad. <laughs> Cause I was there to like visit her and she and I ended up fainting it in the emergency room. She felt so bad. Uh, but but she was fine. Um, yeah. Second time in Japan on my way to work on the train at like rush hour. So there's like a billion people on the train. I don't have a seat. I'm standing um, like right by the door and I, I feel it coming and I can't do anything about it and the next thing you know like I'm being pulled off the floor and they're offering me a seat and offering me water I'm like I'm okay I'm okay and that was kind of traumatizing too a little bit I just felt bad for everybody else on the train to like have to like freak them out like that um, but yeah we ended up um, adjusting my hours at the office so that I didn't have to take the early train so that I could uh, avoid the rush and I tried to always get a seat after that just because I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it didn't work very well for me. <laughs> so, um, those are my fainting stories. Speaking of fainting, fainting goats, you've heard of these, right? They're adorable and I want one because they faint when they're scared. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm posting this early because I'm going to see Hank Green tonight and hopefully you'll be there too and we'll rock out, especially to Harry and the Potters because they make the best concerts in the world. <laughs> Last time I saw them, oh my gosh, they came with the Potter Puppet Pals and it was like the best. They came out and, well it was a Kelby Court once, so it was a little tiny venue. And they like came out among the crowd and like danced and played the saxophone and there's one, there's one song called Spew and part of it is like yelling spew over and over and they brought a microphone out and like would play and they put the microphone at a random person and they yell spew. And I got to yell spew. It was fun. Anyway, hope to see you tonight. Uh, hope you're having a good day and keep being authentically awesome.